So, we had a pandemic. It was quite something to have everything shut down. On Thursday, we were told we will not shut down. On Friday, we were told we're shutting down. And they also told us, please don't do anything for three weeks. I believe that what the intent of our district was was to allow everybody to acclimate to this new reality and make sure that some of the basic needs were taken care of. We have a very diverse population and our school district very heavily focused on making sure that students still receive food and we're still taken care of emotionally. So I immediately upped my tech game. I had never had a YouTube channel. I learned how to do that to make sure I had a sense area to load all sorts of information. I learned about Google Classroom, how to make a website, learning all those tools. Once I had them, then I started practicing them and I told all of my students in the spring, here's what we're doing kiddos. We're going to try and find ways to make Zoom work. How can we all play together when we're all isolated in our rooms? What can we do? And so for the next two and a half months, we found things that worked. We altered our curriculum and we made different goals. The goals were, let's stay connected even though we're apart. Let's find ways to become better on our instruments even though we don't have the strength of the group around us. Let's find other ways of making music education a part of our life aside from rehearsal and group performance, such as music history, music theory, improvisation. Then over the summer, the school district wasn't sure, are we gonna come back to school or not? By mid-July, they told us we are not going to come back to school. It'll be all remote, and you're going to learn this new learning management system called Canvas, which you won't have access to until the day before school starts because they had to upload a lot of information. I say none of that as a criticism of anybody because everybody was really doing their best to serve our communities. What we did over the summer, my friends and I got together daily to discuss all the different apps possible for creating music, whether it was acapella or Soundtrap or iMovie, whatever it might be. We started working and we started learning and we found all the best systems in place to allow for a very dynamic curriculum using things as edu.bandlab.com, um, noteflight and musictheory.net. I was able to create a curriculum that allowed for the students to be engaged, connected, and to learn. I created an entire improvisation unit where I made vamps for all 12 modes using the technique pandiatonicism, only playing the white keys on the piano. This allowed students to not only learn the modes, but also to play with the recordings that I made to feel like we were connected and making music together. They were also able to create and work through the different emotions that they were feeling. If they were feeling very sort of playful, we would use the Lydian mode and we would create music together. If they were feeling somber and missing their friends and wishing they could be back at school, we would use the Aeolian mode. If they were upset and angry and frustrated, we would create things in Phrygian or Locrian. And so music became a tool for them to work through some of their emotions as well as teach them the techniques of composition and how to improvise on their instruments. With musictheory.net, we were really able to focus in on note reading and building scales, as well as making sure they understood key signatures and all the different modes that were applied to those key signatures. Through daily challenges, the students became much more well-versed in just what it means to look at the written language of music. Now, we did keep some components of group rehearsal. However, never actually all at the same time. Since we had latency and we didn't have the funding to be able to get some of the fancier technologies, we can only have one musician at one time, which is very challenging for the middle school level. Very hard to unmute and play by yourself for everyone else when you're on your own without feeling that support and positivity of everyone around you. So what I did was I made over 250 educational videos to allow them to perform, to practice, and to rehearse with me while I was either live or on their own. Many students had issues with hotspots and couldn't hear, couldn't see. So I had to make sure that every child from every background could still be engaged and still be connected. So what did I do differently? Almost everything. What I didn't do differently was care unconditionally about the well-being of all of my students. In April, we went to hybrid learning and that came with its own challenges. The joy I finally had students in the classroom. I could see what they needed. I could hear what they needed. And I could change my pacing to be more effective. In the remote learning situation, it was very challenging to see where they were. So every day in every class, they had to upload video submissions so I could see how they were holding their instruments, see if they were playing the right notes, see if they were following the curriculum. 
It was a huge undertaking, usually taking anywhere between two and four hours of grading per night, but it was worth it because we have to do our best. And the pandemic required us to do things not only differently, but at, at an exponential level of work, which we happily do because we wanna serve our kids and we wanna serve our community. I feel so fortunate that here at Castellero, we did have the resources to support the majority of our population. And I feel so fortunate that now we have the opportunity to all be back in the classroom. I can't wait to hear the collection of sounds. I can't wait to see everybody walk into the classroom. I can't wait to have 100 musicians all playing at the same time, doing their very best and sharing their knowledge, supporting each other, lifting each other up, and leaving the classroom with a smile on their face because they know that we always get to choose. It's always our choice. So why not choose to be great? Why not be our very best selves? And let's all remember that together, we're better. <laughs>